The time has come to crown our queen. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. Ew. The first ever queen of the mother talking world is... Hydrangea. Told you. Hold over. My queen, is there anything you'd like to say? Woo! Good lip sync. Okay, out of the two, I want Mo to win, but I would not be upset if Blue won as well. They both done amazing. Okay, so here we go. Woo! All right. Ladies. Uh huh. International. Queen of oh. the Mother Tucking World. Okay, Queen of the Mother world is. Blue Hydrangea. Oh! I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good job, honey! Hey you guys, Simply Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome to the Unapologetically Honest Show. Woo! And today we are here to discuss the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. But before we get into that, I have to remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification right, right here, at the, right there, somewhere in one of these corners. Hit it! We're a good time. We, I promise you, we are. And you can always change your mind later, but no. Um, <laughs> so, what did you think of the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world? It was very emotional, because for some Ooh, weird reason, it got, I cried. It got emotional. All I heard in the back of my head was emotional, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Every person's except for Baggers, I didn't cry when she was having. I didn't cry at Baggers. I, I, I didn't cry after. till Juju be. I didn't cry till. I cried every person after that. Blue got. Uh -uh. Me. I cried at most. Ju I was boohooing at um, Juju bees. I'm like, cry on her, right? Her I was like, why am I crying? What the heck? I was already emotional. Most started up. I'm like, if y'all don't stop. Oh no, wait! When when the special guests were like, "Hi," that's when I started crying. When everybody was like, "Hi," and then as soon as the sub pray tell himself got on the TV screen and was like, "Oh, darling, oh," and I saw and him, I I'm like, "Oh, most gonna win." <laughs> <laughs> I saw him, I'm like, "Yeah, most gonna win." Yeah, and I was sitting there, and I was just, as soon as I saw him, I just was like. <laughs> I was like to buy Naomi Campbell. I'm like, why am I crying? What's going on? And I was like, well, maybe I just needed a good cry today, and that just brought it out. No, but now that the season's over, what did you think of this first season of International All Stars? It was it was good. It was cutthroat. I enjoyed it. A lot of people on Twitter <laughs> are bashing this season. I love it. Why? They're playing the game. I don't know how exactly. many times we've sat here and we've talked about, oh, yeah, it's good that they're playing fair, but I wish more people would play the game. I wish more people would have been like Naomi and played the game. And we got that this season. And honestly, I think this season is going to open up the doors for All-Stars uh, 7 and onwards that people are going to be playing the game. They're not going to be scared to send your uh, favorite home. Because, baby, don't let me walk up in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, 
the first don't, don't let a winner be in there. Don't don't let them pull a BB and have a winner come in there. Because whoever, as soon as they fall on the bottom, Bob, Bob could have been the best, had the best track record up to that moment. Bob, Monet, Bianca, Tyra. That would be a gag if they ever got Tyra, but still. Which Tyra? Sanchez. Ah, oh, yes, your queen, darling. Well, the artist formerly known as Tyra Sanchez. Yes. But yes, yes. Come oh. back to drag, darling. Yeah, so you can come back as James. That, that'll be perfectly fine because uh, Fifi still does drag, but as Jeremy now. No more Fifi. It's just Jeremy from here on out. But anyway, are you ready to get into the episode? Yes, I'm playing with my my little rare beauty lipstick. Here this goes. And first and foremost, we must say congrat congratulations to Blue Hydrangea for joining the winner's circle. Yes, good God. For all of our previous winners from all of the franchises. And yes. you make great company. You make great company. Although I wouldn't have chose you to win, I'm super ecstatic that you won. And I'm excited to see, you know, where you go from here. Mm, that's a big list. Look at that. Yes, look at it. I think we cut off these three right here. So BB, uh, Violet, and Monet. I'm not sure if they can see them with the way um, that they're going to be on the screen. But the, they are there. They weren't uh -huh. But yes, <laughs> And with, Ooh, the, and with this room, Pri Anka. I know, right? Look at Pri Pri. And you know, with the rumor all winter season happening this year, we're gonna have somebody on here twice. Who, who, who is the rainbow hair? Rainbow hair. She is the winner of season two of Drag Race Thailand. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. She's pretty. She oh, she's she um, looks like. That that profile makes her look like like 1992 Mariah Carey. She's the first openly trans winner that we have. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, so super excited. Love this. Love this. I want them all to take like even if you know they have to green screen some men, but I want them all to take like an actual photo together. Mm. You know, people take the shoots in their respective countries and the power of editing, put them all on one page. Oh, <laughs> and matching outfits, <laughs> even though two of them are kind of controversial. So I'm not sure if that would actually happen. Which, two I mean, besides James, who's the other one? Sharon. Sharon. Sharon Needles. Needles. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard about the controversy around Sharon Needles. Uh -uh. You have it? Okay, we'll discuss that afterwards. Uh, we're not going to get into it on this video here. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm going to be waiting with bated breath. <laughs> so, like we were saying, congr congratulations to Blue Hydrangea. So, mm -hmm. let's officially start our review of this episode. Uh, we come back afterwards uh, where we say goodbye to Jenny Jack A. Juju B is really emotional because this is her second win ever and her first time ever wiping off a mirror message. And I'm really? like, wait, how is that possible? You were on season two when they started the mirror messages. So I gandered on my collection of season two and uh -huh. it wasn't the winner of the lip sync who would wipe it off. It will always be somebody different. Sometimes the winner of the week, sometimes one of the random queens would do it, but mm. she was right. She never wiped off a mirror message. Mm. So I was like, oh, Okay. A lot of firsts for her, except for, you know, the winning of the season. Hey, I, I thought, I, once again, something about finales and Juju B, she really draw, draws you in on a finale. And I'm like, you know what, crown that bitch. Because, you know, I was like that with All-Stars 5. Mm -hmm. I went into it, hands down. I was like, Shay, Shay, Shay. But then I watched it, I'm like, you know what, I wouldn't be mad at Juju B. I'm yeah. Like, I wouldn't be mad at Juju B. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I was looking at you naked crazy. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, she drew me in. Uh, she but, is like the Susan Lucci of RuPaul's Drag Race. Pretty much. So they're sitting down and they're discussing. Oh, I hope she ain't got to be on there 25 years. You hope she's not what? I said I hope she ain't got to be on there 25 years before she get a win. <sighs> if she ever competes again. But, you know, Jujubee has said, you know, if they call, she's coming. 
<laughs> Get that money, honey. I ain't mad at her shoot. And hopefully next time they call her there'll be a cash prize. Hmm. That might be why they decided to let the UK queen win. And plus, we'll get more into that later. But Mo Hart said that she also spoke Danny. She said she wanted to respect um, the uh, promises that she made. Mm -hmm. And I didn't remember her making that promise to a bag of chips. I didn't either. I'll have to go back and watch again. But I was like, honey, I don't remember her. I remember her making that to uh, Blue. But I I don't remember her making that to Bag. Yeah, I didn't remember anything with Bag. Yeah. But, you know, Miss Jenny is gone, even though we see her again this episode. She was there every episode. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So uh, Mo also announced that she had an alliance with Blue Hydrangea. Mm -hmm. And she had a problem with that. And I'm like, ma'am. Why did Bag have a problem with that? You had an alliance as well with um you had several alliances in Jimbo. So what are you talking about? I, I was confusion on that. I was I was confusion. It's the next day we see uh our sweet Juju B with her repeater badge. Yes, finally a symbol of my way. A symbol, because you know, it's you know, when on the other seasons they say you win, okay, thank you. And uh, now they start giving out cash, but beforehand they were really the cash would be gone. And I'm like, well, where's the proof that I won? So she'll always have this as a memorabilia that she actually won a challenge. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see them on eBay. Uh, so RuPaul enters the room and announces that the final challenge is a lip sync smackdown for the crown. You know, like we do here in the States. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the lip sync SmackDown, but I'm so used to it having a live crowd, mm-hmm. being in a big stadium at least. Yeah. So it was like okay, okay. underwhelming. It wasn't underwhelming. It's just like I missed the gravitas. I missed the extraness of it. Yeah. I missed the 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 red carpets, the the big elaborate ending to the season. If we're gonna do that, do that. Like, right. It was nice that the queens were there, and I understand we sh- they shot this right dab in the middle of the pandemic. So, like, we keep saying the middle. It's all the middle till it ends. Listen, in my opinion, we're coming in towards the end. I'm speaking that into existence. We are coming to the end of this. We are. I'm speaking that out there. It has to end this year. It really does. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so we're lip syncing for the crown. Uh huh. And we're going straight to the main stage. They had some mirror moments, but they were really just talking about what the win will mean for their country, for themselves, uh, yeah. how they've done this season compared to their other seasons and Jujubee's 20 seasons. So, you know, <laughs> it was, you know nothing to you know, sit down and chit-chat about. So let's get hey, guys. the stage. And we have Mama Ru. What did you think of this look? It was interesting. It looks like a bunch of sea anemone. I love it. <laughs> I do. Of course she do. She came <laughs> out <I'm> like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. This is a good end to a good season. Because I think I've liked every look except for that week one look. Because, girl, what was that? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but, yes, this was amazing to me. I loved every piece of this. I really did. I really did. But this week, we only had Michelle and Graham. Alan wasn't there. Yeah. Who thinks he tested positive? It's weird not having the whole family there for the last episode. Which we right. had Alan a little bit later, but, you know, it was it was weird. It was, mm-hmm. There was just three of them there. I was like, what are you going to do with all this space? <laughs> and your little card there. That part. So, the category is Grand Finale Extravaganza Eleganza. And the oh. queens had a chance to come back. Up first, mm-hmm. representing Canada, Lemon. Lemon. What did you think of Lemon's look? I like this look. I just wish it fit a little bit better. Same. Something about it made it not fit well. Same. I think maybe she lost a little weight while she was there. Yeah. So it, it was just a, just a little baggy. But I, everything else I love. I just wish, I just wish the fit was better. But Lemon... You look Lemon good. gives you life. And I like how when she let the, the leaf down, it was like a big old skirt. 
That was cute. Up next, representing the UK, Cheryl Hull. What was this? I didn't like it. It looked like it looked like a crayon. You know, she she is giving me alternate every time I see what she would have worn. I'm like, now I see why you were an alternate, honey. Because, you know, <laughs> Christina Mandela was supposed to be there, but she had to pull out because of a family emergency. So uh -huh. hopefully she'll be at Canada's versus the world. So fingers crossed. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, this this was a letdown. Yeah. Hair and makeup is good. The I hair. don't even like the hair. I like the hair. <laughs> I don't like the hair. You don't, you don't like? I, I, I don't like the hair. I don't, I'm trying to do a UK accent. I don't like the hair. No, let me No, because you sound Asian. Oh, no. I don't family. like the hair. <laughs> don't like. you, you don't like it, dear. I don't like it. There we go. That's a little Not bit. at all. No, I don't like it. It's not my fave, babes. It's not, it's not my faves, babes. <laughs> Listen, I was watching, um, what was I watching? It was a show based in the UK. Oh, uh, the first time I watched Downton Abbey, I'm currently watching it now. But uh -huh. at that time, that's all I was watching. And baby, uh -huh. my British accent was on point, honey. <laughs> and tell me I wasn't British. I, I do it a lot for now. For the kids um, at, because but... I'm watching it and other shows at the same time, I'm not picking back up on it like I used to. But about four or five years ago, psh, you should have seen me. That British accent was on point. You would have uh, thought uh, I was British. Uh, I was British. All the time, the... babe. All the time. All the time, vibes. All the times. Up next, representing Canada, Jimbo. Jimbo has stepped her up. So amazing. Uh, so she amazing. didn't have to step on my soak like that. She walked out in this. I'm like, yes. Uh, I promise you, if they wouldn't have sent her home, she would have won. Um, probably. She would have won. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. I just thought about it. You had the lip sync for the crown. No, she wouldn't have. Oh. She would have made the finale, though. She would have made the finale if they were playing she fair. She would have been top four, baby. She would have been top four. Yeah, like uh, if they would have played the finale. Hey, if she was smart, she would have chose bag of chips. Mm. I think she could beat bag of <laughs> So at least she could make top two. <laughs> but yeah, if they were playing fair, um, <laughs> fair, because what? They are. What's fair? Well, because everybody always says, if I'm going to play this game, then I want to go against the best of the best. And I want to beat the best. Well, honey, guess what? You just beat them. You sent them home. You have beat the best. Ta-da! Trinity the Tuck said that so many times in her season. I want to beat the best. If you send them home, you beat them. <laughs> but anyway. You still ended up having to share the crown. Hmm. But Jimbo, you look amazing. Uh, I would yes. like to see Jimbo compete again in like a few years. Jimbo said uh, that uh, that uh, blah, 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 blah. Jimbo said that she is down to compete again, and I'm like, cool. Don't compete right away, right? Like two three years, and they give you the call again, honey. Come, and mm -hmm. give yourself the opportunity to to up your cash, up your money, up your yeah. game. And you know, wait till you know it's in a country where you can get some money, okay? That part. Because the you know, rumor has it season two is Canada, so that means they'll be able to do money. But if for some reason they have to do it in the UK again, Ooh. that's no money. <laughs> oh my god, they don't let you. Up next, representing Thailand, we have Pangina Heels. Y'all. I love this. I do too. I love every piece of this. And you look at the boots. Yes. Boots now. You love you and high. Thank you. Anything above the knee just makes me happy. Yeah, except just call me happy. Leona Lewis because I'm happy. <laughs> I am. This is just, this is everything for me. Up next, representing Holland, we have Jenny Jekay. This is not my favorite. I didn't like this. This was not my favorite. I didn't like the fit. This is the velvet. <laughs> yeah, and then like the arts and crafts, it really looked like arts and crafts at the bottom. Now, if like say if that was painted on, or if it was you know a, a design with clouds and whatnot, that mm -hmm. would could have been stunning. But because you could tell it's glued on, mm -hmm. I don't know. 
I, I didn't particularly care for this. I didn't. Mm. The face and hair is right. I love the earrings. Mm-hmm. But the actual dress, ah, I'm at the booty. I'm going to have to yeah. boot. And now our top four representing the UK bag of chips. Boot. <laughs> boot. A chunky ah. boot. A big Ooh. chunky boot. <laughs> oh, shoot my shoulder. Goodness, bag of. <laughs> I really held out hope. I'm like, well, maybe for the finale, she'll pull out something nice. And you can still be campy and pull out something nice. You know what I'm saying? Well, she was channeling, you know, 1989 Liz yeah, Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you could be campy and pull out something nice. SP from season 12, she was a prime example of that. You could be campy and still bring the looks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, this is a no for me, dog. No, dog. Also representing the UK, Blue Hydrangea. Blue. This was cute. I uh, yeah, I like the color. I like the color. Um, I think what bothered me is the back of this dress. Like I, I just I don't get where she's going. Maybe it's a reference over our head. Maybe it's something in Ireland that we don't you know know. Hmm. But you know, yeah, just it wasn't my favorite. And it wasn't giving what you needed it to give. No, it, it's still a two. Mm-hmm. Still a two. But it's just, I still like it. That's all. I just like it. It's nothing like, oh my God. You know, I like it. It didn't take your breath away. She didn't it step didn't on take, your folk. It did not take my breath away, like representing the US, Juju. Uh, yes. <sighs> oh, she mm. just. Had to step on you just oh a little God. bit. I took a second screenshot of this, honey. Right. It's right. Yes. It's all right. Yes. I'm glad she knows how to pad her top, man. It's, it's, it's just... It, it, the only thing is, I wish there was like a necklace. Like a necklace or something. But other than that... Other mm-hmm. than that... Mm, tens, tens, tens across the board. <laughs> oh... So good. And she's right. It does look like you can just put a crown right on top of that. Yes. Oh, so good. So good. So good. And last but definitely not least, representing the U.S., Mo Hart. I freaking love this. This was so good. Uh. And it was different. Like, I didn't expect this from Mo. Especially since she's been pulling out the, the neon yellows and the bright purples all season. Like, this was so good. And uh, th- look, it was so good. I'm just now realizing it was your favorite color. <laughs> it is. Orange, 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 honey. This is so good. And just imagine, I was watching an interview with her. Uh, the BBC is a lot stricter on the rules than uh, the U.S. is. Uh-huh. So she had to give up like over half of the drag she brought with her. Really? So imagine if she didn't have to give up what she brought. Ugh. Why'd um, she have to give up her drag? Because um, there was a weight limit for each bag. It could only oh. be 50 pounds or something along that line. Mm-hmm. And hers went over. So they, she had to give stuff away until it weighed 50 pounds. Right. So I was like, oh. I wouldn't have gave it away. I'd have just shit. Oh no, it. they gave it back. It's just during the competition uh, they had to conf- conf- say confiscate it. That. <laughs> uh, because she said during her season of All Stars, not every queen followed the 50 pound per bag rule. So she thought she could possibly get away with it, but the BBC said, ah. Now, if this was VH1, maybe, maybe they would have let it slide. Mm-hmm. But mm-mm, BBC, BBC. BBC said, uh uh-uh, uh, we not letting you have it. But good look, Mo. Good look, Mo. Yeah. Look at look at the train. Look at, uh, look at the t- So uh, our eliminated queens. Who had your favorite look? Of the eliminated queens? Of the eliminated queens. Oh, I have to give it to, to Jimbo. I'm sorry. I I there's no apologies here. I give it to Jimbo as well. Panjana is a close second. Yes. A close second. Yes. But Jimbo. 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 Jimbo looks so flipping gorgeous and like almost natural. Like 
because you know usually she likes to give bimbo a clown but this is classy well, sassy you, i got me some money bimbo clown yeah if you notice this whole season she's been given that she has elevated her makeup since Canada season one, which we we both said during our reviews, was the only downfall she really had was her makeup was always smudged, smeared. Yeah, but baby, she went home, got that right. Mm-hmm. She practiced. It's all it's all good with God. Yeah. Out of our top four, who was your favorite look? Mo. I have to give it to Juju B, but Mo's a close second. <laughs> Mo was a close second. Yes, Mo had my favorite and Juju was a close second. Yes. <laughs> like, Mo just took my whole breath away. I was just like, <gasps> Now, normally we don't talk about, you know, the critiques uh, that they have. Mm-hmm. But I really wanted to discuss Juju B real quick. Mm-hmm. She shared the story that a couple days before coming to the competition, she saw a picture of her mother, who she has not seen since she abandoned her and her siblings. Mm-hmm, almost 20 years ago. Almost 20 years ago. Juju B said they were 15 at the time, only a month after their father passed. Right. And for me, it just, it felt like a light bulb. And I'm like, that's why we haven't been seeing Juju. Yeah. And granted, those runways, chunky. But the challenge is we were always like, okay, Juju's missing. Where's Juju? Because mm-hmm. Juju usually gives you. Honestly, we could have overlooked some of those runways like they did with Baga. But she wasn't delivering in the challenges. And hearing that just really just connected the whole thing. All the dots. And I'm like, it makes sense why she's struggling like she has been. So I'm hoping if she does come back for a fifth time. (laughs) If she do come back for a fifth time, I hope. Fifth time's the charm. In a great a mind stage, mind frame. And, you know, they uh, Blue Hydrangea kind of read her for her, her only having two wins in her four seasons. Let's be real. The mm-hmm. only reason she didn't get more wins is because they changed the rules for All-Stars 5. If they would have kept All-Stars 5 with the top two lip syncing for the crown, she would have had mm-hmm. at least two, three wins that season. Oh, yeah. Because she was always right there. Always right there. But they changed up the format. So, Blue, don't do that, honey. You know, us Irish people, we got to stick together, but don't do that. Right? Don't do that. So, we got special uh, shout-outs from Alan Carr. Yeah. I wonder if maybe he got sick. That's what I was wondering. I was like, did he catch Rona? Because, you know, he kind of looked, you know, kind of pale. A little pale. But then again, that could be he didn't have the makeup, you know, because, you know, they have makeup on. That could be what that is. He didn't uh, have his Porter. teeth in. We had the father, Billy Porter. Billy Porter. And the biggest shock for me, Naomi Campbell. Like, <laughs> what? What? Yeah. I get <laughs> loudly. <laughs> I was like, oh, Mo gonna get this. Oh, I'm oh, so happy. Naomi. But anyway, uh, oh, did I? Oh, yeah, I did skip. Okay, I didn't skip over nothing. They went to the bag to get ready for the lipstick for the crown. You know, they're all cute, like, hey, we're top four. Then the rest of the queens came in, and oh, my God, the drama. The drama. The drama. Yes. Because Blue was like, I just played the game like you did, Pangina. Pangina was like, no. You see, Pangina is dying on this hill that I sent (laughs) Jimbo home because she was the worst that week. Don't get me wrong. Jimbo was the worst that week. I fully understand that statement. But I don't know. I don't know. Panjana, I love you, honey, but I think you was playing the game and you just didn't want to admit it. Admit that you were playing the game. Because you had no prop. Like, the thing is, you sent home lemon, too. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's just, ooh, I don't know, honey. I I really think she was playing the game, just didn't want to say she was playing the game. And Blue was mm-hmm. like, I just did what you did. I played the mm-hmm. game. And so did Juju. Juju played the game by sending home Jenny. Yeah. So she could have sent home Baga or Blue. Now, honestly, if she would have played fair, Baga would have been the one for her to choose. Right. Because at least everybody else had some wins. Me that part. But yeah, that, this was a good little moment, honey. And then Jimbo reminded me why I didn't like Jimbo on season one of Canada. 
maybe when she said, well, I'm not going to say this about you, but I'm not going to say that. And they're all sitting there like, you just said it. You just said it. Oh, I did. And I'm like, because I, I go back to that That's fight. That's why I didn't like you. I remember now. <laughs> I go back to that fight between her and Rita Baga that really rubbed me the wrong way. Uh-huh. Because you asked for critique. Rita gave it to you. And then you start reading her for filth. I'm like, wait a minute. You can't be mad when you ask the damn question. <laughs> that re- but I still love me some Jimbo, honey. But that, that, re- that reminded me of that time. And I remember that rubbed me all the way wrong. I'm like, rubbed me all the way wrong. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the main stage. We had Elton John here to explain the rules of the Lip Sync Smackdown. Y'all, we've watched, what, so many seasons of Drag Race. We know how this works. Yes. The only thing is, I still find it weird for season 13's uh, finale that they spin the wheel twice. You remember that? Because they landed on Candy, then they rolled it again and landed on Rosé? Yeah. I thought that was weird because usually whoever lands on first, they get to pick who they go against. I thought that right, was Like here. Like here and like every other time they've done this. Uh-huh. And I thought it was cute that they had Lemon uh, spin the wheel. <laughs> let's get the first eliminated queen to do it. You know, she didn't get much time, so let's put her on the stage real quick. Right, but she did a good job of it. Yeah, but well, it's not that hard to spin a wheel, Frank. Was, yeah, I know. Just, you know. I like yeah. how they took their, their first week picture and put it up there. That part. And then here <laughs> they are. And honestly, Juju B. Yes. Looks like she's going to the mall again. That's her style. That's her signature style, you know? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I went back and looked at her runways from All Stars 5. Uh huh. She she can, that, although that is her style, when it's on the runway, uh huh. She's right. So this season, mm-hmm. really hearing what I heard and then seeing what we saw this episode. But anyway. Also, I don't really care for blue lip sync outfit. I love. I didn't either. I love Bagos. <laughs> oh, no, I love it. It's giving me very Liza. It's just yes. Yes, oh, de Liza. And then Mo, always stunning. Stunning. Yes. Brown stunning. Always, always. But anyway, I just wanted to get a close up. <laughs> we spin the wheel. It lands on Mo. So Mo decides to lip sync against Bag of Chips. Bugger. So, if, Bugger. so say you're in the top four, Lucretia. Yes. You roll the wheel. Yes. Lands on you. Uh, Bagger. Oh right. way. See, I'm different because here's here's my thoughts. <laughs> All right. Granny, going into this, I would because be, I still stand by my theory. The crown was going to go to whoever had a badge. All right. So me going into it, not having a badge, if I was mom, I'd be like, well, I need to lip sync and take my chance against either Juju or Blue. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she just was okay with making it to top two. Right. Because in the back of my mind, I would, it would be in my mind, I don't have a badge and there's two queens here that do. Like that, that would, that would be in the back of my mind. So I, I might've chose one of the other two. Mm-hmm. Or I could have took the easy way and be like, hey, at least I'm me in the top two. Let me lip sync against Bagger. <laughs> <laughs> and look the at consolation Bagger. prize. Listen, Bagger was over this whole episode. As soon as she heard we had the lip sync for the crowd, she's like, shit. Yeah, right? She's like, well, I guess I'm not kidding. Well, this. I did my best, honey. Mm-hmm. I made it to the finale again. Maybe next time. She'll turn in the juju. <laughs> Every time she competes, make it to the finale. <laughs> Oh, but since she was chosen, she got to choose between the two boxes and mm-hmm. a song that is on my list. And I'm so glad we finally got Domino by Jesse J. I've been <laughs> wanting this song for so freaking long. So it sounded long. like a song you'd want. Have you never heard Domino by Jesse J? Not till the night. How have you not heard Domino by Jesse J? 2010 me is shook right now. Because I didn't know you in 2010. I know that. But 2010 me, you should... 
You should have seen me when this. First all- of all, 2010 Lucretia was in California still, up until August of that year. I want to say either 2010 or 11, but still, either way it goes. And then 2000, then at the beginning of at the end of 2010, the beginning of 2011, all I was hearing on the radio was like deuces. <laughs> Tell me when to go and some other east east and west coast stuff that I did not expect to hear in some zero. Oh god, I love zero. <laughs> I think that's the Texan in me. I just love zero. I love ABN. I love Paul Wall, Mike Jones, like all those down south dirty you rappers. I love them folks. Like I like, like those, those down south rappers, honey. Woo! <laughs> and they all from the Houston area. <laughs> They all from the Houston area. Easy, mm. e, DJ Quick. Mm. <laughs> e but anyway, 40, uh, too okay. short. Uh, oh, too short. Mac oh, Miller. Song or two of his. Yeah. I mostly know his features. His features are everything. But anyway, um, but yeah, 2010 and 11, Desmond would freak the f- out with this song. Even 2022, Desmond. Let me be on that stage and I see Domino. Oh. I'm sorry, Lucretia, you finna go to the house. <laughs> Do my stretches. Yep, you finna go on to the house. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this moment since I was 18. Oh, I would have ate. I would have ate. I would have cut the fuck up. I would have cut the fuck up. Oh my God. <laughs> but let's get into the lip sync. Domino, Jesse J, Back of Chips versus Mo Hart. What did you think mm-hmm. of the lip sync? I knew Mo was gonna win because they kept the camera on her. And Bagger would pop up every once in a blue moon. Yeah, Bagger was cute. She, she, she was there for a second. She had a cute little moment here and there, but it was really Mo. Yes. It was really Mo. And my thing is, in both lip syncs, I feel like Mo wasn't going all out. I don't think she was either. Because if you go back and look at her All Stars 4 lip syncs, honey, she was going all out. But then again, there was money involved. <laughs> right. And I, I honestly think, like, on the low, they like, well, we'll fight. We're going to fight, like, just enough. <laughs> yeah, just enough. Just but enough. But Mo Hart ended up winning the lip sync, and we had to say goodbye to the queen who should have done Mary J. Blige at the Snatch Game. Back chips. <laughs> I don't get that joke. Oh, that was funny. Oh, that was funny. I'm going to have to rewatch that episode. Yeah, because she cracked the joke about playing Mary J. Blige. So. Uh-huh. This was this was a cute little nod to that. So we get to the next lip sync, and they're going to be lip syncing to "The Reflex" by Dur- yes. Durant. Blue Hydrangea, Juju B. What did you think of this lip sync? Oh, I I was too busy listening to the music. It was fun. I, I, this but, right here is how I feel about this lip sync. I feel like Blue did too much. That too. I thought the same thing. I was like, "Boo, what you doing?" And I'm like, "Juju B's like giving me the embodiment of the song. She's doing her little dance move. She's having a good time." Right. In my honest opinion, I feel like Juju B won this lip sync. Me too. But because Mo won the lip sync before, right? It wouldn't have been UK versus the world if you would have had. Not Juju. even that. Like <laughs> at this point, I couldn't see them crowning Juju B. Like I wanted them to. Right. But realistically, the, I, I couldn't see them crowning her. Right. But like, Blue has to go through regardless. Because if you do that, then it's clear Mo's going to win. Right. Maybe Blue is who they were trying to get. Maybe that's who they wanted to win. But in my opinion, she was doing way too much in this lip sync. Yeah. Way I was like, she's doing a whole lot of something for nothing. But she did win. She did and win. Say goodbye to Juju B. Yes. So we have our final lip sync to Supernova by Kylie Minogue. Wait, no and then the, the, the girls got their little extra special, you know, ruby encrusted badge. Yeah, uh, they always get those. So I was like, eh, forget it. <laughs> forget it. And then they look the same every time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Supernova by Kylie Minogue. Finally, a, a, a Kylie Minogue song is done justice on this franchise. <laughs> Mo Hart, Blue Hydrangea. What did you think of this lip sync? I, again, I thought that, you know, 
she was giving too much. I agree. Um, I really thought Blue Hydrangea was doing way too much for the song. I felt but, like Mo, at one point Mo was doing a kick, 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 kick. I was like, yes! I'm like, oh, she's going to win. Oh, she's going to win. She won. Nope. Nope. I was wrong. I knew Blue was going to win because they kept the, they kept the camera on her. Kept too the long. camera on her. But every time we saw Mo, she was she was cutting up. Yeah, every time um, you saw Mo, she was giving. But they kept the camera on Blue, and I said, "Oh, they're gonna let Blue win." Yeah. And then as like, soon as they were like, "Blue, you won," I looked at the camera and I said, "See, I told you." It's just <laughs> yeah, uh, the uh, the she wasn't really embodying the giving. song. She was doing way too much. Mo really gave the essence of it. And even if you look at their track record, they have similar track records. The only difference is Blue has a badge. And I right. said this last week, that they were going to crown somebody with a badge. Mm -hmm. And I was right, Blue. So right. RuPaul announces that the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world is Blue High Hydrangea. So I have a question. Yes. Do you think it's a little bit of a cheat that she has them little see-through straps on her shoes? No. Um, if you pay attention, a lot of queens do that for the lip sync so the shoe don't come off. Yeah. Because I've noticed the U.S. queens do it too. It don't bother me because, you know, you know me, if you take off the shoes during the lip sync, oh, God. You know, so it's an exception if they fall off. Kind of mm -hmm. like Jasmine Kennedy when she kicked and it fell and it flew off. Yes. But she kept the other one on. Yeah. That that is perfectly fine. But yeah, to prevent it from happening altogether, I would strap mine down too. I, I don't have any problem with this. Okay. You, you don't like that? No, I didn't. I, I just wanted your opinion on it. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, Blue One, she is our fourth UK winner. The first Ireland winner. Well, the first Irish winner, let me say that. I'll be the second. <laughs> um, <laughs> people laugh at me when I tell them I have, I'm have i from Irish descent, but I am. I have the proof. It's in the pudding. Uh, I forget wow. I forget what uh, his last name was, but his first name was Patrick. And he came over here from Ireland in 1819. Like a chill. A lot of people tend to forget I am biracial. Like a lot of people tend to be, I was like, oh yeah, you are mixed. Yeah. 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 It's mostly uh, black at this point now, but still, that there's it, it runs. It right. Runs funny. But yeah, yeah. I, change I only feel like I'm Irish just because of my last name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we have Blue Win. Yay. Me personally, I think I still would have chose Mo, even though she didn't have a badge. Right. But I'm not upset with Blue. Blue played the game. Blue played the game. She built the runway every week. She and she was she doing good do. in the challenges. Although she was never in the top, she still did good in all the challenges. So, like, I'm yeah. not upset at all that Blue won. And then she won, like, one of the second most important, you know, challenges there is, which is Snatch Game. Snatch game. Like, in my opinion, that is the important uh, challenge to win. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we have Blue Hydrangea in the winner's circle, honey. And so far, she's our first crowned winner of 2022. Yeah. Okay. Dragulations, ma'am. And so oh. far, she's ranked in first in our year ranking because she's the only one. <laughs> she's the only one. Because, you know, season 14 is taking a millennia yeah. to get through. We're got, halfway through respect. the season, and we still have, like, nine queens. Yeah. I got to respect um, Blue's gameplay, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I, I respect her gameplay because I would have played the same way. Regardless if Pangina would have sent Jimbo home, mm -hmm. I would have sent Pangina home. We're this close to the finale. You're the front runner, baby. You got to go. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Girl, we'll kiki about this later. But right now, and like I said earlier, I feel like this is going to open the door for the queens to actually play the game from here on out like they want them to. Because honestly, I feel like they made these rules so that mm -hmm. they would play this way. Yes. They were just scared of the fans. I ain't scared of y'all. I already done had to tell some of y'all where y'all could shove it. <laughs> no problem telling more. 
It is a TV <laughs> show, damn it. There is no need for you to be sending death threats. It is not life or death. Baby, when it's these just people leave, honey. they going to be making their money regardless. You and on top of that, they didn't even out of no money. Mouth. And it went, and another thing, I think Blue won because if Mo would have won, all she had to do was go down the street. Because they say she lives down the street from the World of Wonder Productions. So she would literally have to go down the street. So what you going to pay her, <laughs> what, $2 to walk down the road? <laughs> At least with Blue, she's going to get flued in. Right. She's going to get flued out. We're going to flew, we flew her out. She flewed her out. But they don't, I don't think they're getting interested. paid. All the proceeds go to charity. Yeah, between two charities. Um, I'm interested to see what type of song RuPaul and Blue Hydrage are going to do. Right. I am intrigued by that. I'm not going to lie to you. And I wonder if it's going to be like the lead single for like a new album. Oh, no, Ru just dropped the album this year. Right. Huh, maybe uh maybe whatever song they do will be the catwalk song for season four of I'm sorry, series four of UK. Oh, and here's a little tea about um UK series four. If you don't want the tea, go ahead and leave now. Thank y'all so much for watching. We appreciate it. Don't forget this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You have been warned from here on out. We talking tea. So the tea with UK series four is. Victoria Scone declined the offer to return. Ooh. Oh my God. I think I saw that somewhere like, no. on Instagram. And th that's how they know she declined it, is she's still making public appearances. She's posting. And they said at one of her shows, she actually flat out said she declined the offer to return. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, damn, girl, you know you would have slayed it. But then again, she might have been scared they would have done to her what they did to Veronica Green. Because yeah. that was shady. Yeah. So maybe she was like, eh, I don't trust it. So maybe right. she'll wait until they invite her for an international all-star situation type mm -hmm. and just do that instead. All I know is cornbread. If they invite you for season 15, you better take your orders. Yeah. Your You've had enough time. You better go on your... down there and get this crown. You yes. think I'm playing. That part. Cornbread, I know you're watching. If Rupert, hey, season 15 starting in like three weeks. You down? You better say yeah. Hmm. Because right now they're shooting a series four of UK. That's why people know because the queens have already disappeared. So uh -huh. we, have, we have a good idea on who's there. Mm -hmm. And one queen who didn't disappear was Victoria Scone. Victoria Scone. Victoria Scone. Victoria Scone. <sighs> so hopefully we'll get to see her soon. But yeah, Cornbread, take your ass back. <laughs> Don't play with me. Get back in there. <clears throat> We can finally have our first plus-size winner in the States. Let's do it. Come on. Mm. You know, it really irritates me that we've had 14 seasons of Drag Race, and we haven't had a plus-size winner yet. You know, we have a possibility with Deja Sky, but Deja Sky ain't got, ain't got no wins yet. Mm. Like, I, I can't see her doing anything if she ain't got no wins. So I'm, I'm going to need Deja to get on board, and then possibly we can haul her our first plus-size winner. Right now, mm. it's looking real thin. It's looking real thin for that top four. Looking real thin. Looking real thin. Looking real thin. Real thin. Real thin. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at Angeria. But... Me too. I, 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 I'm torn <laughs> between her, Willow, Bosco. I'm loving Lady Camden. I'm loving... Uh, I feel like there's somebody else that I love that I just went completely blank on. I don't know, because I just need Angie to hold on to that top four. Honey, that's the only one you got. That's left. the only one I got. <laughs> so that's probably why you're saying, hold on, Angie. Hold on, Angie. Hold on, girl. Hold on just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Hold on just a little yeah. bit. Let's go ahead and wrap things up here. Lucretia, where can they find you on the social media platforms? You can find me at Cresha McGill on all social media. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L. -L. And you can find me in the club, pocket full of bud. But let's be real, I'm not there. I'm currently, I'm currently on a hiatus, so 
I'm not leaving my living room. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, follow me on social media. It's at Simply Desmond. That's S I M P L Y D E S M O N D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later this week for our Mass Singer and our Drag Race 14 review. See you then.